This thing has a range of over 330 miles and can charge at up to speeds of 350 kilowatts. It is an 800 volt architecture and these right here have the highest energy density of any EV on sale. They are 195 watt hours per kilogram, which probably doesn't mean anything to you at all. But if you compare that to something like the Rimac's Nevera, that has a density of about 160 five to 170 watt hours per kilogram. The other interesting thing about this battery is you have connectors at either end. So you don't have to have huge wires trailing up and down the car. You can just connect this end of the battery to the rear axle, the front end of the battery to the front axle. Now, 85% of the batteries are here in the floor plan there, ensconced by the chassis, which saves weight because the chassis adds the protection and adds the strength. 85% um, of them are as low as possible in the floor pan, but you'll notice a little jump up here. Now these are the batteries that sit under the rear seats. By the way, confirmation from Ferrari there that this car will have rear seats, but it's an interesting decision this one because you could just extend the wheelbase as so many EV manufacturers do and just have a longer battery. Longer wheelbase, longer skateboard battery, more range and everyone is happy. But this is a Ferrari. Handling has to come at the absolute top of the priority list. So they decided to bunch up the batteries here, keep the wheelbase short and therefore keep the car as agile as possible. And the other interesting thing with this, it's been designed from the outset to make the battery and the other components replaceable because a Ferrari is a car that should stick around forever. It should be handed down through generations and not something that's thrown on the scrap heap when the battery fails. So in this, you know, who knows? In many years to come, you could be dropping out your battery, clicking in a solid state one and getting twice as much range or a battery with the same range and half the weight. Focusing on the whole chassis right now, the, uh, the chassis and the body is made from 75% recycled aluminium, which is quite impressive and saves around 6.7 tonnes of CO2 per car in the manufacturing process.